Hi guys, this is Flash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. In this part, before we actually get on to doing the endgame stuff, we're going to be doing the very last of Elizabeth's requests, and that just mainly entails the fusion spells that we couldn't have done because we didn't have Metatron to do it, but now we do have Metatron. Um, so this would be Last Judge, it's a light based attack, who cares? What I want to talk about more, a gavel, hilarious. Um, what I want to talk about more is that Orpheus Telos that I made last part, um, again, took eight hours to make, it took eight hours to make, and that was the cop-out version. Um, the one I made because I was too lazy to make the better one. Honestly now, it took a while, you, again, as I've stated before, in order to make, like, you know, probability not just screw you, you kind of have to make it so that all the personas that you're fusing into Orpheus Telos also have as many moves as possible. I kept, I, I tried to make it a rule that, like, Every persona I made had to have at least four of the moves that I wanted into Orpheus Telos. And, um, I sort of did that, sort of didn't. Thanatos was a bitch to make because he didn't want to inherit anything but dark magic, and that's lame. But I finally just, you know, I finally just settled on this. I would have wanted Unshaken Will because, you know, I, um... Even though I have the equip for that, I do want the equip for something else. I did actually make some fusion items. One of the bullshit things about this was, um was about doing that is that again because you're like taking so many things out of the compendium you run out of money pretty quickly so out of, as a result you do need to do some grinding for money um I don't think I've ever mentioned this before um but my Hillel has Armageddon which is a very powerful move that we'll be seeing sometime in the future it, it, it basically kills everything um but with victory cry at the very at the end of every battle he recovers all his SP. So basically he can indefinitely do it. And that's how I grinded to level 99. And that's how I got them all the money without actually like, you know, um totally just, you know, spending forever. The move you also saw was Infinity. It was a move by Vishnu. That move will getting will be getting much more screen time later when we'll need it, so don't worry that I just totally talked over it. If it wasn't totally obvious yet, um all this all this preparation I've been doing is not for the final boss. Um, this is totally unnecessary to fight the final boss. We could, we were, we were very prepared a while ago. Um, I also think this move is pretty cool. It's pretty much like a Ma Ragnarok, like a Ma Ugly Dine. No, actually, I think it's better than a Ma Ugly Dine. It's like a really, really powerful fire move. It almost looks like Fire Breath from the other games, but even more awesome. But if it wasn't totally obvious yet, this is not for the final boss. This is for the super boss. Um. It's something I'll probably be showing off once I beat this game during New Game Plus because you know this game has a New Game Plus. Um, again, that, that's the Armageddon I was talking about. You get a Plume of Dusk for that, which is pretty damn crazy. I believe what Plume of Dusks are is if you die, you actually just um, come back to life. You get ten of them when you're on if you're playing on Easy Mode, so that's part of the Easy Mode. Um, you know, to, to keep you from losing a shit ton of saves. But look at that, all of the requests. Besides the one you can only do in New Game Plus, of course. Um, we do also have a 100% completed compendium. We were pretty much totally done with this game. I feel bad because a lot of this I didn't show. To be perfectly honest, a lot of this was just for my own enjoyment. Um, I did want to like 100% this game, like even on my own time. So, even though I'm not showing it for the Let's Play, I'm glad I did it by myself. Um, these are all the personas I'm using. Orpheus Telos. I gave Orpheus Telos all my skill cards. Because Orpheus Telos is the boss I want to fight the super boss with. Um, I'll, I'll, I guess I can go on to the moves, why I gave him the moves he has when I'm fighting him. That's future stuff. But anywho, Yukari has 99 magic. My three main party members are all level 99. I mean, the, the maid squad is all level 99, that is. They all have the ultimate weapons. They all have an accessory that covers their weakness. They all have 99 HP, 99 SP, and they are all... all ready to kick some complete ass because that is again totally unnecessary <laughs> um you know i mean like it's all thanks to the manad depths honestly like without that we would probably be on par with the final boss so i guess it's the manad depths fault i guess you could say um but yeah so there is there is nothing standing on our way from just absolutely killing the final boss, besides the Tartarus check that we have to do, and I think I'll keep this in because I don't think I've ever shown that much Tartarus music. After a while, they decided to do you know, all the speeding up. I did. I'm glad I did the speeding up, honestly, because this part probably this let's play probably would have been like ten parts longer if I didn't do that. Um, I mean, is that? I guess that that still is a lot. I mean, 
even though it is part 119, good god, this will definitely, I hope definitely at least, be the longest Let's Play I ever do in this channel. Um, it, it's, it's still nice to cut where I could, because, you know, editing and whatnot, it's fun. I mean, if you think about it, like, I spent, like, 70 hours in this game as of right now. If I, like, had, with 20 minute parts, if I cut absolutely nothing, this, like, would have been 210 parts. And that wouldn't have been, that would have, that would have been crazy. Um, but we do have, like, these minute floors of Tartars to traverse. All of the shadows absolutely fear us because, you know, we are way too, we are way, too, as they should, honestly, we are way too powerful for any of these chumps. Even death right now would stand no chance even if we didn't cheese death like we had to we could use thunder rain to totally cheese death like how we did originally or we could use armageddon to one shot death but even if we didn't do either of those things death would not stand a chance against us mostly because we had no weaknesses and whatnot again orpheus telos resist everything which is awesome i love that but before we can actually fight the final boss we gotta take care of this obstruction um <laughs> in more ways than one partner by the way uh-huh he's destined for greater yeah like getting killed on us on a higher floor <laughs> damn straight we're not even serious we're not taking this serious I'm not taking this serious I pieced together the information left behind plot twist he was a real apparently he knows Akutsuki Akutsuki's in on things did you know Ikutsuki? Yeah, I guess so. We were surprised to find out he was your boss. Temporarily. We really only knew his name. He was just one of the researchers who created us. Oh, dun dun dun. Finding out more about Strega. Sadly, him? it's too late to change things. Are you? <laughs> There's no use in exactly, Jin. Um, who cares? Let's just kill you already. Exactly, Get Mitsuru. Can't do that, little no, you can. <laughs> It will take no less than a second. We could, again, but I can't um, interfere with wish. Do you even understand yeah, what nothing. If Nix isn't stopped, all life will be destroyed. And I guess that's what they want, I suppose. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We won't live much I, and I, I sort of make sense. Again, they were taking God. drugs like Shinji was um, to suppress their personas, so which down. slowly kills them. Enough so I guess they would want to see the end. This. Um... But anywho, as I've stated before, I do have access to this move called Armageddon that will do 9,999 damage. Um, and I could easily do it right now, but I won't. I feel like that's a bit too cheap. I mean, I I'll tell you this right now, it's not as- it's pretty much just as cheap as being level 99 in general. Because Thunder Rain does, you know, a shit ton of damage. Oh, I love that. I didn't think he'd say that. Are you too afraid to face <laughs> oh, fuck you. Um, basically, uh, uh, what the fuck this guy? Jin, I, he's so unimportant I forgot. Level 74, what a chump. Um, <laughs> he's like, yeah, you think you guys are such hot shit, like, as he says, as he's dying on the floor. Um, but Jin is a special boss fight in that he will exploit weaknesses. And totally just get one shot by an all out attack because we are way too overpowered. I almost. This is where I started feeling guilty about being level 99. Um, but he will exploit weaknesses because he's a smart boy and whatnot. But I never thought. I, I saw that line. I never thought he'd say that line because we have no weak. Our entire party has no weaknesses. So that's just hilarious. What are you waiting for? Finish me oh, trust me. We don't need to do, do that. <laughs> that battle lasted all of like, what, 30 Why seconds? So loyal to him? Because they're buds. He wouldn't understand. Takaya showed me the light when I was in the dark. Yeah, I, I, okay. But you know, I guess you know when they're it was a long time when ago. they're in such harsh it environments. You have hour. to stick with Kuichi who you got, I guess. Kids that were living on the streets and gave them special oh yeah, the, the crazy grandpa. So could <laughs> what? But you know, but when that we don't have the party. It's difficult to control. Yeah. So the kids had to take experimental medication so their powers wouldn't kill them. Only three kids out of the original hundreds survived. And that three was Strega, I suppose. Months, so, damn. Then those three were... 
You all suffered at the hands of Kareem. Um, you gonna apologize? Takaya saved me from it. Okay. All. He said, "Don't let the past control you, and don't look to the future. <laughs> Simply live in the." Evidently, moment. Takaya is also Mr. Hanakoma. <laughs> Well, that's nice. Um, wish must be I'm gonna have to apologize there because it's definitely not because yeah. it kind of like you know. It is interesting when like you know you do like see like we were their point of view. Yeah, exactly. When you <laughs> when you see the bad guy's we point of view. Now. But we can't. Yes, we can. You I don't we literally could just use an Armageddon right now and kill everything here. But whatever, we won't. Let's just bail. I thought we'd be the last to bail, but I guess... Oh, Fuka's there. Oh, Fuka even turned around. Such caring. Um... Alright. Yeah, Jin knows how to exploit weaknesses. He should be fine. All he has to do is knock them all down and literally just stay there. But yeah, when you when you do like see like... I, I do like when games do that, when you can actually like... You know, they're kind of like bad guys. They have slight, no, their intentions aren't exactly wonderful. But you do, you know, see that they're just not doing like, when like, you know, there's evil bad guy just doing evil bad guy thing for the sake of being evil bad guy. But whatever, so now we're going back up to Artis. That took, you know, that was a nice distraction, I suppose you could say. Um, and there's more things on the 262nd Floor. I said that right. Yeah, so much floor of Tartarus. Again, I could cut this out, but again, that's literally only like two floors, so it's nothing too big of a deal. And these these floors are in fact smaller, and everyone fears us, so it really doesn't matter in the slightest. Um, Takai is on the next floor. Ooh, I'm so scared. If there's anything like Jin, <laughs> which he is, <laughs> I don't, I'm not scared at all. I can't even be sarcastic about that. You saw, you saw that battle. Again, I felt so guilty when I saw that. I knew, like, I knew I'd be powerful. I, like, that was, being level 99 just entails that. I knew, like, you know, things would be easy. I didn't think they would be that easy. Like, I thought as long as I didn't use Armageddon, things would be, like, you know, at least kind of challenging. But, but no. Um, he's, he's sitting right there, like, honestly. Exactly, we literally, let's, let's go, come on. No need to monologue. We can just go right there. I suppose it. I take it you have defeated. I, I guess it would be troublesome though if we were fighting the Not final boss and he just appear, appears and be like, "Yo, you seek? gonna cause a ruckus." I mean, it wouldn't because we're so OP right now. But you know, in a real, in the real sense of the story, if we weren't totally overpowered, then yeah, that would be a problem. You are merely wasting your energy. Yes, we are. Why not celebrate this one? No, 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 no. We can't do this. <laughs> a bunch of different ways. Exactly. Thank you, Yukari. Um, I just want to... Can we just fight you? And go. I never asked for this power. That's always... I learned that the future he again is he like he didn't he wasn't only born evil every moment kind of I, I wouldn't know that but he kind of just you know be became this way because if anything like well it's not us but our heritage Kirijo family kind of fucked us up You're so full of shit. yes thank you Junpei I'm not dying so you can have a freaking night <laughs> all right I don't this is not merely my desire. He's actually there right, though. And then there's also, this is a common trope, where, like, humanity secretly seeks That's destruction. All these weird have been no, no, he's actually, what he speaks is actually, like, you that know, kind of right. Who is responsible for reviving Nyx? Can a single person boast of this no, it's like a collective humanity thing and whatnot. <laughs> Koromaru wasn't startled by that, though. I guess Koromaru doesn't comprehend the finer things of this. So you see, this is not just my will. It is the will of okay. all people. Man cannot face death without first finding meaning in life. I suppose so. But the world has realized that any meaning in life was lost long ago. <laughs> but yeah, again, it's just a common trope you see a lot of the times. I like it. We have salvation, though. <laughs> Minato can salvate all he... I, I, I don't, don't think that's the proper usage of that verb. And yet, there is truth in what he says. Leave it to the robot to, like, you know, 
give him some grants. What would you call it? Um, con not concede, but whatever. All we have to know is we're gonna kill you. <laughs> very, very easily at that. Oh, she finally figured it out. I think. Right? Yeah, because so good intentions. No again. <laughs> These aren't even good intentions. Um, but come on. Let's go. Oh, now he's standing in our way. What do you know of this world? No matter how long you search or how hard you pray, eventually you will realize mm. that there is no truth. No, that's not what Persona 4 is about. A truth that has been lost can never be found again. Okay. Are you really so desperate to die that you will stand before the Almighty? I don't think you understand what level 99 means. Is what I am trying to rid this world. But if the world's gonna end, then why even try to stop us? I don't get this guy. If you insist on asserting your way of but I do like this line. Like, you know, heroes can like... Heroes, that's exactly what they're doing. They're just pushing their ideals on everyone else, so... Like, honestly, this bad guy has every, like, right to try and do the same. I mean, sadly, <laughs> this is sort of an example of might makes right. And we definitely have the might um oh yeah i totally forgot unavoidable battle plagues during these fights the last fight was so um short that it didn't even matter so i'm pretty sure takaya knows how to do some mind charge medi dolons which is pretty in it, it, it's impressive that's a strategy we have i mean now that we have thunder rain it doesn't really matter anymore <laughs> again i'd try to i chose not to I was like, I was thinking, like, do I should I really do an all-out attack? Because we could kill him. Yes, you definitely. I I don't doubt that you can feel the end of everything. As you um, you know, are hunched over on the ground, dying right now. And I suppose we can indulge. Again, I feel bad about this again, but whatever. He's he's done. Seems we are destined to be in opposition. Oh yeah, this is actually a line. How can you summon such I think this is I don't think this is his death line. I think it's just a Again, these bosses have long Oh, he's not even dead. Well, who would have thought? Well now he is. Um But yeah. Um they do have more lines, I think they would say, if we just totally didn't kill them incredibly quickly. Uh but sadly we didn't get to see them. So that's I feel I I kinda feel bad about that, but whatever. I've, I I think earlier in this part I just talked about how I didn't want this let's play to be too long, so I guess when I mean, we can do things quick like this, it's fine. No, we'll just let you lie there. We really need to see. <laughs> we want to show you up when we like when we want you to see us beating Nyx. I guess that's what I want to say. Oh, don't lecture us. All we've been talking about for like the last two months is about dying and life. Please, shut up. Thank you, Takaya. Because we don't, we don't need it. <laughs> From a chump. And it won't, because, you know, screw you. Alright. You are all so... Well, that's nice. So, can we bail now? Okay, cool. So, that was, uh, that was the rest of Strega. Jin's dead, I just realized that. Yeah, he kind of blew himself up. Um, and Takaya's just kind of here, just totally wrecked. And yes, oh my god, this Let's Play coming to a close. In the next part, we will be fighting the final boss. But until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!